So a few days ago, Nintendo dropped a new update for Splatoon 3. This was version 7.1.0. Now, we weren't expecting such a big version number update. Usually when they're doing small amounts of bug fixes and such, they would just go to version 7.0.1. So more significant changes have been made within this update, and that includes some changes to side order. Now, whilst of course they haven't added in any new content to side order, we weren't expecting this at all naturally. They have made some important changes and fixes to the DLC that I definitely think you'll want to know about. So let's take a look through and see exactly what has changed. Nintendo has confirmed they've fixed an issue where sometimes when players cleared the side order story and returned to Square, a communication error would occur and prevent them from watching to the end of the cutscene. They've now also added a brand new feature where you can rewatch this cutscene that has been added to Spire of Order Entrance. So this is really great, we actually do technically have a new feature. Yeah, it's not significant new content, but I think this is fantastic that we will be able to replay the cutscene anytime we want. They most likely just added this to kind of deal with the glitch, but the fact is it'll be useful for players who just want to revisit it at any time. So that's honestly really great to see. They've also confirmed the fix and issue that sometimes prevented the player from controlling the character after the cutscene looking up at the Spire of Order. Fix an issue where when continuously playing side order, the in-game music sometimes stopped playing. Fix an issue where when the player pressed the plus button to open the pause screen with certain timing after entering a floor, the floor's music sometimes did not play when the player closed the pause screen. Fix an issue where, due to the reasons such as activating broken armor jump mid-air, sometimes when staying airborne at a position high up in the air, the player is treated to having fallen outside the stage despite being in a position where they can return to the stage. Fix an issue where the jump height when jumping off a bounce pad was not uniform. Fix an issue where, when restarting after making a mistake on a floor where a bonus challenge occurred, the icon in the upper left showing the bonus conditions was sometimes displayed overlapping with those different from the original conditions. Fix an issue where the color of the mark indicating that you are aiming at sometimes differed from the color of the player's ink due to the homing shot's color chip. Fix an issue in rotational dot floor where players sometimes clipped into terrain when getting stuck between a whirling accelerando and the terrain. Fix an issue where when a parallel cannon touched an active ink rail, it would sometimes blow the player away significantly. And finally, fix an issue where, when pressing the A button on the point calculation screen at the end of a run at the Spire of Order, the earned points displayed was sometimes higher than the number of points actually obtained. So yeah, definitely lots of important fixes to side order within this update. Like I said, nothing absolutely major, but this is our first update post side order, believe it or not. So they had a lot of fixes to make, and I'm sure there's even other things that they'll probably still need to fix with the mid-season balance update patch. But for now, that's everything you need to know about the latest update for Splatoon 3 and Side Order. I will have some other videos about some of the other changes they've made within this update soon as well. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. If you make to the end, be sure to comment Splat Gang so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on notifications for more.